Hello everyone, anyone, welcome back to Underrail. I am Zial. Uh, back from the oh my god, you have to see this on television sort of uh, moment. And taking this opportunity to be like, I want to record more before the next uh, football game. American football, what can I say? Uh, playoff football at the moment. It's, see, it seems so weird because I feel like you have to say American football because obviously... I mean, shoot, I, I have to say, I almost feel like more people from uh, <laughs> overseas watch my content or comment on my content than I say from the United States, funny enough. Uh, and, that, and that's just fine. That's just fine. That's awesome, actually. I probably should have set up some better traps here, but die, spawn! Which is, uh, I yell that every single time I... Uh, um, interact with my, uh, sister in real life. Uh, not really. She's my older sister. So she pretty much yelled that to me. Uh, okay. But there's no more bad guys here, right? And the hope is that combat can end here, and I'm trying to prolong things a little bit here, and then get myself stealthed up. Because it's a long quick save. Uh, because last time I went through all this jazz. Remains, huh? Sure, I'll take its thorax. Propaganda. We already have too many of them. I'm not even going to bother to disassemble this thing. Oh, well, we got to do that. Anytime. Who knows, perhaps he's got the lost uh, memories of a forgotten civilization. I always do that instead of batteries. Living on a prayer. Now, this, what does this one ever do? 100 energy, this hexer has 70, so it's just better just to do it twice. Hexor. Even though you'd like to recharge a little bit faster if possible, but you know, you always try to optimize the best you can when it comes to this. Alright. Ooh, another crossbow parts for us. You know, I'm getting a little sick of this. <laughs> All these crossbow parts. I mean, you know, I should just create them. They'll weigh more in my inventory. I'm fairly positive because, like, what is this way? Uh, 4.25, just a little bit more. I should create them to sell them if it becomes worthwhile to, but you know, that's a big if. And yeah, once again, we're uh, heading towards burr uh, style areas, and I ask myself why. <laughs> why in God's name would I want to do that? I feel like I might have lost sight of the mission a little bit when it came between the two factions here, but I'm still... The, the, I, uh, the, my little permanent, because I'm always in stealth compass, says that's north, and south is where bad things happen, so. Okay, and I came ac across somebody here, and I want to make sure I can trap the other bad guy. Which. That's yeah, funny, I think it's my last uh, good bear trap, too. I should have, should have waited. I'm doing it anyway. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Doesn't get much better than that. Do I have enough to pop an adrenaline shot? I do. Give me enough to do another shot. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, but it did actually. Man, drill and shots rule. Alright. So pop out. Hi! How is it going? It's not a great chance to hit. So Well, it still worked though. Alright. And uh We get three shots of crossbow. That's a uh, mighty fine eating, as they say. 
I don't know who says that. I certainly didn't. Yeah, there's, these aren't great shots, but they're making it so that I'm able to successfully... There comes the fatigue. Ow. Thank goodness for shields, huh? Boom. Okay. Battle over. Shields off, Captain. And yeah, let's rifle through your pockets. A patching kit, which is not a bad idea right now. In fact, I'm just going to immediately go like this and make sure my nice rat hound regala stays nice and good because it's beautiful and I love it. All right. Now, what do you have on you? Caltrops. This. And, I don't know, whatever the heck I picked up. Put in my room. It was like a single bullet that did it. Why am I carrying around toxic waste? Or toxic sludge? I mean, <laughs> sometimes you have to ask yourselves these questions. Um, the only thing I can do is extract humor. This... I don't know why you want to be a beaker versus a uh, whatever, but hey, that worked just barely. Way for civilization, what can you do? Whoa, that's a lot of batteries. I like batteries. Yeah, I like being over encumbered too, apparently. Okay. And I learned my lesson about walking too much over encumbered, but not well enough to do anything about it. Um, okay, so. This is as far south as it goes. Unless I go into Burrower Town. Which is totally not a word. Um, we gotta find something heavy and drop it. I know that sells for a lot, but darn, you know? Sometimes you just gotta drop something if it's too darned heavy. This proved itself too useful, this combination, though, you know? Toxic Sludge just feels like a quest item to me. TNT weighs four pounds, so if I go use it at, at the other place, that'll make that available. So, we'll very quickly try to do this. And there's nothing really to do, even. So, we're just going to... Okay, is there anything of the electronic repair variety that I should be repairing? This? But I, I guess it's only for, like, electric or laser guns or something like that. So. Do, do, do. These flares are adding up in weight, and it feels like I'm not using them. So we'll split them and say, here you go, Mr. World. There's half the flares. Both of these loots should contain very similar things that I'm kind of opening to let me myself know what's going on there. But I remember everything being like, oh, my God, I need this. Uh, although one of them might have had experience in it. But all the crossbow parts, do I build another crossbow? Oh yeah, that was a cool gundelier belt. Um, which is a very cool item if you are a gunslinger type. Yeah, see how it is. That's worth a lot and there's like nothing, so. Well, quarter of a pound. Alright, so. I'm not sold that heading into the rat covered or the burr infested tunnels to the south here is where I want to be. Because when I was back, when, I, when at least when I was in here, and there's some lunatic guys here, right? Um, but at least when I was inside the tunnels here, it felt like I was somewhere um, related to it. I just gotta find my way back towards the train tracks and probably back towards the area that was a little bit uh, harder to deal with, um, which was the north. Remember the king of the north. And if I really want to get rid of stuff, yeah, yeah, let's let's make it a regrettable decision that might make me have to take all this time to an episode to do whatever. Let's use the TNT uh, just because it'll open up an area I haven't seen and also takes care of some of the inventory issues I have because I because I have to get to a locker spend some time off the camera doing a little bit of cleaning everyone's favorite part of RPGs I'm just pretty bad at it 
Whoa. Oh, that's, that's a lot of things you opened up. If anything's good in here. Yeah. Whoa, slow down there, Tex. All these flat beakers. Up oh, there we go. Tooth necklace. One point of experience. Half a dozen human teeth and a string. All right, yeah. Crappy lockpick. The gun to sell, although it doesn't seem like it's terrible. And that is all she wrote. So, don't even see a reason to be stealth anymore. We're going to go to that one guy. I believe I have one more firearm to sell him. Um, this is the one that I just picked up here. And then I'm going to start heading back towards something else. I wish they could tell me something, you know? So all these people are like, are you in the know? Do you know what's going on? I'm like, no, I'm not in the know. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Buy my bullets. I know not what these strange things are. Oh, he's almost out of money, isn't he? Oh, that's right. Didn't I have to... Tr oh, I didn't have to drop the middle plate quite yet. I need to get experience points. Uh, yeah, and he still can't afford to pay me. What's my stealth for this Belklava? 12, Intimidation 5, same as it was. Can't sell anything else from him. It's probably time for mechanical bolts. Still can't. Incinerary bolt. Any... Well, I just don't think tabby boots are ever gonna... Every time I've seen the same freaking thing. Well, there is something about being completionist, and if you're gonna gonna do it, just do it. So... Yep, yeah, still can't take care of it. Do, 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 do. See, because... They always seem to have some interesting stuff like this, but it seemed like it's way more... Oh. You don't say. That's very interesting. Now, granted, you get better chance to get critically hit. That sucks. But it's a better increase to stealth than I've seen from anything. And dodge and evasion goes up. Movement speed goes up. Movement speed... Points increased by well, we're we're just gonna freaking buy those and look there you go. And then I have to give him two bleeding credits. So yeah, well spent. Part of me is just about saying if I'm making up for the bell clava, maybe I don't need to keep this around. I can just sell it to him. But he doesn't have any money, so what's the point in that? I've already uh, kind of run him a little ragged. All right, hey, I'm gonna lose some constitution. But increases my stealth even further, um, which is nice. And uh, I, I sincerely doubt I can recycle this pig stuff uh, higher. Yeah. Uh huh. And and let's learn this. So tabby boots, which because I'm not really crafter material souls. Yeah, there's there's no real hoping that but mechanical bolts seem to be very helpful in the acquisition of less inventory plus I love serrated arrows the character is kind of based around serrated arrows you know called the bleeding effects um, okay cool um, so yeah we keep on moving what dangers await us certainly can't use uh, yeah, that's right. All these cameras I forgot about. And the stairs. Okay, so... My gut is telling me, let's check upstairs. Uh, one of these places. This looks like it's... You know, these room sizes are kind of deceptive. Because to me, it looks like this might just be a little bit of a station up there. Or whatever, but... What, what, can, I, what can I tell you? Hey, oh! 
I'm like really close to SGS, aren't I? Hi guys! <laughs> yeah, hello Red Hounds. Was this openable? Huh. Well, I'll be. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Now I really, really, really feel lost. So it's doing a great job here. Um, so these stairs up, are they all leading me to, like, is this stairs down going to be one of the other areas I was just by? Thoroughly confusing the hell out of me. Yeah! <laughs> it sure flipping is. All right, so we're gonna try going around this way. Being sneaky with the cameras. Also, man, that moving speed increase those tappy boots, kind of worth it. Plus, I think I'm getting that from the Kingslayer. I don't like keep calling Kingslayer the rat hound. <laughs> Maybe a uh, yeah, Kingslayer, the Lannister. Uh, Miguel, Miguela. Okay. We know that camera. You know what? Is this even gonna find me? Hell, if I'm out of stealth, does it even find me? There's no one manning no freaking booth here. So. Yippee Kai, what the hell ever. I'm definitely in a place that does not matter much. So we have to figure out what's going on over here. I mean if not, it's all about the exploration and I'm and I'm having a good time doing it. I'm, the only thing I'm not having fun with is I need to spend that dreaded episode off camera. Um, I always say it's dreaded because sometimes when you're getting to it, you, just, you know, I, I want to play the game and I want to play it properly. I don't want to avoid things because it might just so happen to be the mystical path of Mirage Nagu. And then all of a sudden I have to do it twice, which, you know, doing it twice isn't a huge deal, mind you. That was the free drones. That was this. That was this. Okay, so the only way to really head is... I come from there. Did I? How did that? Yeah, okay, that was that was the exit that I took before that wasn't very fruitful. I thought I came from there. Huh. Well, you got me. Must have been up instead of down. Yeah, okay. See, the idea of drawing on maps is it seems so crazy after all. I'm not doing that in the middle of the LP because it would be a little bit of like, you know, my... Oh, no. God, the rocks. It's okay, gang. We used our TNT on uh, opening up something for, I think, pretty much one oddity experience point. But, okay. An actual lockpick. I still think that we have the skills to uh, use cheapo lockpick on it. Here we go. Here we go. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Bullets and stuff. Box up there. You just like to weigh something. I'll just be dismantling you, so. Yeah, encyclopedia fragment, experience points, EMP mine, good for uh, dealing with these other guys. Do you know what is also wonderful about this place I just entered? The fact that there's no effing way that I can get past this, these of a TNT charge. So, I think we all know what time it is. The time to do something really effing stupid. Hello, Mr. Fry Grenade. I sure hope you work. That'd be swell. <laughs> Chances of be blowing off my foot. Extremely high. Go! 
Really? I don't know if I already say it, but whatever. It's one less. It was a free frag grenade. Came with the Happy Meal. Oh, then the cooldown is very, very, very long. So, I'm, because I've always been curious about this. I'll tell you that, I can't use that. And, uh, I don't have any sledgehammers because I don't believe in that voodoo witchcraft. Okay, so only demolition charges work against those particular rocks. Uh, oh my goodness. And that enters this whole sorts of questions. Uh, I, I, I came down this way then. Okay. Uh, and I, I'm just, I'm going to have used the grenades. So be it. These had slightly harder enemies. Because uh, Lurker Gunner's Corpse. I had to pull some maneuvers around here. The long hallway to nowhere, really. And we didn't go around that one thing. Or did I get, like, stabbed or something and forget about it? That's always a very possible possibility. With positively this. Keep my eyes open. Alright, deep, deep, calming breaths. We'll figure out one way or another if we're heading in the right location. Alright, we're in the free drones area. Some more. That's if graffiti tags are what we trust. There's no reason not to trust the graffiti tag. Given that sense of deja vu of, I think this one room layout is something I've seen before. Nope, but it's different. This one's time is different. Okay. Let's see. There's a ladder. A dog. An explosive barrel. And it so happens to be a dog. Did I see someone else up here? Was that just another dog? No, it's the same dog. Just walk. wandering by him. Okay. Ah uh, ha ha! Look what we see. They're cutthroats. And a murderer. Ooh. Alright, well, we're a little low on the old traps here but I think that this is uh, one of those times where it is most welcome to oh no it's gonna start real quick and we're gonna damn this might be the end you won Let's try that. There we go. Did some stuff. Adrenaline shoot up myself. There we go. Got a bleeding wound going on this guy. Um, I really do not like the position I am currently. Oh, one, it activates your bloody shield. That's a very important idea. And we still have a 78% chance here. I really just want this guy to be in trouble. Okay, cool. That might have taken care of him completely. Uh, I can't move anyway, so... Bring on the pain. Oh! Wow! Okie dokie! <laughs> Note to self, not to be messed with. Another... Now, one, I should have had my... Pocket knife out before I was dealing with this person. Two, should I even be dealing with this person? That's really more of a question for the ages, I suppose. Uh, but just like the Rat Hound King, they can disarm from 17 years away. Yep, dogs. Oh, 
And you know there's a dog right there. There's a couple dogs right there. I think it's the rest. Is there actually a room in there or no? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I do know that those guys were scary. And of course I'm going to try to fight them again. But only if it's necessary. Oh! Well, I don't even recall... Well, I kind of recall this. Because... If I went around, I'm much better at stealth than I was previous. That's what quick saves are for. Go, 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 go. If not, it's just a lot of dogs, maybe. Yeah, because this was the end of the line. Um, sort of thing. Before. I opened this up. Had something that I was like, well, I'm not taking this on here because it's just a rogue, for God's sakes. Although, who knows? Maybe you'll make people who... The non-believers believe in me. And all this down here, if I recall, was the end of the line. So this was even further south. And why... And I think somebody uh, gave me a nice little clue in the sense of where did the train go? So that's, that's a good question. Where did the FN train go? Uh... See, I don't know why they're, like... One, I can't get, I can't get moved beyond here. Which... Wait, now that opens up? You didn't open up before? Well, I'll be. Here we go. <laughs> Heading in another direction. Because I swear last time I was here... Sometimes things aren't highlighting because of... Reasons... I don't know, you really you got me on some of this. I do know that this looks scary. And it also looks like we won't be going the right darn direction for once. Alright, we know that I'm amazing with frag grenades, but let's uh, let's choose. Uh, shock bolts are very nice. Uh, I don't have as many burr or poison bolts as I used to. I'm going to sort them all, will you? Maybe I just really, really want to have a lot of bleeding bolts tranquilizer bolts have got this sort of feeling of like if I miss then one of my arrow opportunities is just gone oh hello bandit you gonna charge me to like pass by your crap area Kind of seeing how much I can move around here. I might, with my superior stealth capabilities, pass by my most likely chance to be on this side when they're moving away. So, we're going to do this when she moves by one more time. It's not increasing. Could have put it on the bell clava, but I feel confident enough in my stealth capabilities. Go, 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 go. Okay. Bandit sniper. <laughs> okay. Well, talk about a rock and a hard place, huh? Kind of a cool place to be. Okay. Now, in an effort to be cool, that's where the train went. Oh my god, we're actually making progress here. This does not seem to lead us any place that we want. It doesn't open, for one thing. We got in the great house. Things to weigh me down for the most part. They they took a lot of it already. 
Now, something is telling me, let's call my inner Jean-Luc, is telling me that perhaps there's a peaceful solution to be found amongst these differing peoples if I go out and I talk to them. And then there's that part of me that says, well, they're just bandits. <laughs> so... Uh, this is a sniper, uh, so it's kind of, it's kind of tough because I think I think the way to go, right, is I want to pass by this here sniper if possible, which I'm going to since I don't see any stealth guys in the area. We're going Balclava to give as much stealth as we possibly can. We're gonna pass by here, try to lay some frag mines here for when they come by. And we're going to get up real close to this sniper and take some shots. That's the current plan of action. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay. And what are you? Frag mine. They don't seem to have much in the way of armor. I feel like... It's not really going away here. Maybe I'm thinking the wrong approach. Should be thinking more along the lines of here. And one, have your damn knife equipped already. Okay. We'll wait for her to pat back around. It's hard because I'm just not getting back uh, into the spirit of things. The action here. Okay. Darn it. Whoa! Did not see that coming. <laughs> I got one more chance before I'm like, oh, seriously, I've got to go. Uh, so I'm, of course, going to try again without getting wailed upon. Uh, the one-shot murder, though? F you. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Okay. Okay. And we go. Okay. You got shields for days, don't you? That was not good for me. Um, shields up. Adrenaline shots. Everyone's like, move it to your hotbar already. I'm like, ah, well, eventually. God. Okay. There we go. It's a pretty far shot. Okay, well, before I move, I'm gonna try to get some more shots going here. Bleeding wound. This person is in trouble. I think even with healing, they're probably gonna go down. And that's where I make my strategic withdrawal. Oh, I didn't think of... Oh, I did not think about that. <laughs> this goes right through my shield. All right. Well, will I be able to take out these bandits or find a peaceful solution to our mutually uh, assured problem of where the, the shipment go for rail crossing? Find out in the next episode of... Uh, 
Underrail. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you did and share. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.